Valtopia. Hey, honey. It's Val Cripps. You are live with me. If you're live, which nobody is yet because I just came on, or you're watching the playback, let me know. I've been working in my office all day. We have been cracking the code of something so deep and so ingrained in our souls and very beings, especially for those of us with a sense of having lived many lives and being truly sensitive and being creative. My doggie's doing something. So if you're new to me and you're watching this playback and you're like, who it is? What's going on here? I'm Val Cripps. I'm an artist. I'm an energy guide. And I uh, support my clients virtually. Almost all my clients I support virtually um, through video, through audio, through Facebook groups, however we choose to interact daily to move into new levels of self-awareness, energy mastery, um, confidence, certainty, commitment, uh, um, devotion to their goals, to their financial commitments, to their life commitments. And today we are talking about something that, woo, it's a big one. It's a big one. So I want to say that the topic for today is devotion, um, but we're leading into a topic that's really powerful in the Valtopia sphere, and that's the idea of having permission to prosper and to, to tune into your desires and to name them and claim them and receive them without being punished. So that's what we're talking about today. So let me copy and paste this and share it, and you do too, please. And it'll be a quick stream because it's kids o'clock and it's three o'clock and I can't wait to go pick up my kids. I've been cleaning and refreshing everything. And uh, I really wanted to come on and bring through this energy because it feels like such a collective healing for our constellation. It, it, it feels like it goes way beyond me and even my inner circle clients. And together as a collective, we can tune into this energy where we resonate with it in our body, where we resonate with it in our beliefs and shift it. Shift the idea that we, that we deserve a punishment for asking to be more compassionate, for asking to be more clear, for asking um, to receive our divine guidance, for trusting in the brilliance of our soul heart connection and our, our life force. We have permission to prosper. So let me share this and get some more people on here. Um, look, it just popped on now. I see it. That took a minute. Wow. All right, let me load it in and share it. I can't wait to see who joins us today. And this is this is one of those beliefs that's so deeply buried within us that it's um which is, you know, my specialty, that it's hard to even notice that it's affecting what you feel. And um for those of you that resonate with the energy that comes through our collective and either you're creative, you're highly empathic, highly welcome, um, and you love my streams and everything, then um, this is gonna be for you because this is a collective thread of genetic programming. This is a collective thread of a behavior and perception that we share. Hey, Karen, and it's our blessing to know each other and to shift this belief together. So I wanna talk about it today. Um, let me share this to my page and how are you guys doing say hello tell me what's happening um, and sharing this to my page and yay finally we can get everybody on here Woohoo! hey Sarah how do honey hey Joanne welcome everybody welcome welcome to Valtopia TV we're gonna do a quick stream today. I'm also gonna pull a couple cards for the daily message. And this is what's coming through today in the Valtopia sphere with my private clients for myself. Um, and it came through in the creative healing community yesterday. I was, I was guided, let me turn this down a little bit. I was guided to go into Johanna's creative healing community yesterday and go live. Like I have this thing where it's just like, oh, it's time for you to go live in this group or it's time for you to go live in that group. And so I went live in the group and I channeled some light language that came through and then I pulled my question cards that I have. You guys know my question cards. And the question that came through was, why do I deserve what I want? And then go figure that that's exactly 
one of the things that we're working through in a really deep level with, with my clients. And we have been working through, why do I deserve what I want? And I remember going through this on such a deep level when I was traveling around the world and, and investing money in um, getting through my traumatic response to life and, uh, and self-awareness and learning how to run my business and understanding client attraction and internet marketing and spiritual healing and all the things that I've had to learn to come into the business that I run now. It was a lot of different hats to put on. Hey, Keisha. And so this, this feeling that we're not allowed to have what we want and that we're going to either drag other people, we're either going to leave people behind or they're going to leave us behind or we're going to hurt the people we love or we have to sacrifice something so deep and personal to us that it's impossible to imagine. Um, Oh my goodness, like this is the deepest running program we could possibly imagine uh, to, that we have. Like throughout all time and space, I'm sure we can never understand why we have um, situations that cause us deep heartache and that we can't necessarily always explain, you know, like death or... Um, misfortune or um, things not going all the way to bliss, peace, and, and joy like we are intending. And what we really, really have to stay focused in, <laughs> as always, is being, being present. Being present. The reason we get into being outside of our body and being outside of our own truth and be feeling disconnected and separate from universe, separate from Mother Earth, separate from each other, and in need of punishment and realignment, is, is because of our um, fear and our tapping into that. So, wow, that was amazing. I just had that streaming through and and something just came in and was like, whoosh, and took my attention away. So, have you experienced this? I know we're working through it, um, and I've just recorded a, some light language and a drop, and I'm gonna take that light language from the creative healing community and merge it into what I created for you today, Keisha. Um, we have to be present with every moment now, and the past, the past is, um, it, oh, okay. I was like, didn't want chaos to go in the room. The past is, uh, we, we can learn from the past, but we get to also decide that we're nourished. Oh, good, good. The frequencies I sent are healing, good. We, part of the reason we don't trust ourselves is because in the past we weren't in integrity, meaning we weren't whole. We, we weren't whole. And as we awaken and ask for our desires and choose to quantum create and step into territory that deep in our witchy wounds feels like, don't do that, you're gonna be punished. Really all we're asking for is to fully know ourselves and to be coming from a space of, of deeper compassion and love and to be more nourished and to Honor our life force. That's all we're asking for. Why would we be punished for stepping more fully into our beingness and honoring the divine that comes through us? We know now when we're awakening what it means to be out of balance and what it means to be in balance. And that's what spiritual practice and what everything about working with me is about. It's about finding your own aligned balance because trust me, if you haven't done this work, chances are real high you're running on somebody else's method and it's not working for you. It's not working for you. You're a complex, innovative, visionary being and you're bringing through an experience that no one has ever lived. And you get to understand that it takes extra focus and allowing of your own um, attunement to who you are and release of allegiance to everybody else's idea of how it's supposed to be that doesn't work for you anyway um, to let yourself be present 
to let yourself be grounded, to let yourself breathe deeply into your body, to be aware of your responsibility to your genetic code and the beingness that is you and the legacy that you leave. And that the understanding of that is your choice. And to choose to be sovereign is to be present and healthy in each moment and allow those moments to lead one to the next in deep trust that your heart is open, that you are grounded, that you are nourished, that you are connected in. And when what you know we're experiencing is that even in situations where things just really are not, like it's a life-changing, devastating moment, you're still experiencing it differently than you would have before. And that's not a punishment, that's life. And we're allowed to uh, tune into the present moment with our heart open and being grounded and to ask for what we desire. There's, the, why would that be punishable? I mean, it's like, thank you, thank you for coming to the table fully present. So we have to know how to distinguish between a deeply, deeply embedded program that stepping away from the tribe is death and it will cause death and you have to sacrifice. We also probably as a collective had many seasons of life where we were ignorant as a culture and we did make sacrifices to, the, to, to achieve what we desired. We didn't know. We thought that's what would created the energetic shift. And inside now with our awareness, we're like, I don't want to do that. That's not what we're doing here, right? Okay, so let me see what these comments. Hi, Wendy. All right. So how does that resonate um, for you guys? Do you see what I'm saying here with giving yourself permission to prosper and to ask for what you desire is asking to be able to breathe, is asking to have time to rest and regenerate, is asking to be inspired by your life force and what you feel is your passion and to spend time devoted and focused on the health and wellness of your passion, of your prosperity, of your purpose, and letting that guide you and not thinking that that's a, a reason to leave anybody behind. Come here, K-Boss. Or to let anybody down. And rather, it's a, a fulfillment of a promise that is you to be fully who you are and to change the meaning of what it means to be alive, to change the genetic code in our lifetime to say it is safe to be me, it is safe to fully experience all of my beingness from the core of the earth all the way to the cosmos and to allow that vitality and energetic electricity to run through me and to connect to all of you guys and for us to co-create magic together. Rayanne's here, yay! Joanne's struggling with that too. Okay, so Rayanne and I, we, we were laughing this morning and shifting the energy too. Um, for me, like, let me see what my notes are. I wanna make sure I'm following the concept that came through. The, the work we need to do is to let go of ideas, beliefs, perceptions, thoughts, energy, attachments, connections that, that mute your joy your bliss, your creation. Because if you have an underlying belief system that says you'd be punished for your joy, and yet you're preaching joy and you ask for joy, and then you encounter that belief, um, it probably feels kind of crazy. Like, why would I believe that? Well, there's a lot of irrational beliefs that we have. And they, they're not irrational because in some lifetime, that shit went down, and you remember it in your bones, and you're like, that's not irrational. That shit could happen. And it's like, anything can happen. Are you present with right now? Are you a fucking boss, master of your energy and know your energy centers and do the daily devotion of being you fully from a place of compassion, from a place of devotion, from a place of witnessing your highest vision and uh, allowing high standards of being and boundaries uh, that not only benefit you, but everyone that encounters you, you're creating an, an essence of being that is fortified with conviction and nourishment and devotion. And, um, and, and from that space is created the energy of your compassion and your creation. And that's just being present in the now. That's gratitude. That's love. From that space, do we receive? Yes. 
Do we connect with each other and create and ask for more because we're inspired by the creation and, and our purpose and our passion? Yes. Will we be punished? Fuck no. That's a belief. It's a terrible belief that um, goes like anywhere from, you know, and, and it, and it, and it feels like that's what happens, isn't it? It feels like when we grow, bad shit happens. How many people are going to watch us and go, yeah. And how many people watch me quietly, popcorn, never say anything, and love the shit out of this stuff, and think, I ain't touching that with a 10 foot pole, because, you know, I don't, like, even like, even like Keisha, when she started, was like trying to do this, this quantum leap thing. Okay, boss. Come here, puppy. Come here. He's all going in Charlie's room. I'm like, no, no, I'll take you for a walk in a minute. <laughs> um, you know, and many of you have come to me with these like full body response. The more body response you have and the more resistance you're experiencing, but the more mystical and magical you know you are, you've lived more lives. It's more deeply ingrained in your DNA. You're here to shift that shit and to own it and to create a new dynamic. And I'm here to help you with that because I know what it's like to be on the inside and to doubt yourself and to question the truth. And um, the, the only way to know is to keep moving through it and to come to the other side, trusting um, indeed that you are being present, you are aligned, you are divinely guided, and you're always in the right place at the right time and choosing from your heart and from your, your soul energy. Hi, Neve. Welcome. So, that is today's message. Um, I'm going to go get my kids soon. Uh, I want to talk, um, let me make sure I'm covering all the points. I'm not saying, oh, uh, we're two minutes. This is why you invest to understand how to master your energy, fully know and be in your purpose, and love yourself through all of the ebbs and flows of your divine being. So when you ask for a quantum stretch, you feel aligned in your divine ask and align your energy into trust. We are intentional, powerful creators. Invest in your beingness. Invest in the energy of you and create the kind of service for your clients where you lead from that space. And in that space, trust that, that, that um, you, you are giving yourself permission to freely prosper, to prosper in love and compassion and freedom and connection. And I'm going to be talking about this more because this is like a really, really deeply embedded thing. And um, I was talking in one of my private commun spiritual communities and touching base with some of the other healers about this. I know that we've all had different layers of this to release. And so that's what we do here in the Valtopia Sphere. We identify and love on parts of ourselves that don't want to come to the table because they feel scared and try to trip things up and re contract us when we're expanding. We allow ourselves to expand and receive um, in blessings and trust that that is a blessing for ourselves and others as we blossom into who we fully are and that there is no punishment for us loving ourselves and asking for what's coming through our inspiration, right? All right, I love you guys. Um, let's pull a card here just for uh, um, inspiration. And if you're watching the stream and you're, um, you're like, oh, I wanna know more about how to do this work. How do I get to such a place of certainty? How do I feel peaceful and blissful even when the worst things in the world are happening because life is life and shit goes down? Um, how do I invest in myself to become that type of leader for myself in my life? I've got you. That's what I do. Um, the, the work that I do is somatic and healing and regenerative. We activate and regenerate your DNA. We look at your boundaries and your standards in your life. We really look at all the relationships in your life and tune into those perceived perceptions, tune into those beliefs, tune into who you are truly when you peel back the layers of obligation and the stories that have really shaped an identity that maybe, well, that pro isn't serving you and that you think is you and you're ready to shift and move into new places. The next glow up client would like to become more intimate. 
you're afraid to open up. You're afraid to go into these deep places. You've never really had that experience. Maybe you didn't have that relationship. Maybe your mom wasn't present or your, or your dad or emotionally. And um, you are a powerful person and you are a control freak and you've worked really hard to shift this dynamic in your identity and you've done so much and you feel like you're not getting the recognition and the, and the fulfillment that you really have put in because you are a supernova all the way and there's things coming through you that you want to begin to implement with your clients and in your business and you've begun to and you are not quite sure exactly what to do with it and you're ready you have decided all right this is it i need boss bitch shamama school <laughs> i need a business person that's also gonna thank you for reminding us to be present um, that's going to be with me daily to move us through the trauma and the difficulty that happens when you stretch beyond who you've been, when you tune into higher levels of you, when you start awakening your spiritual gifts and implementing them in your life and your business and all the inevitable stuff shuffles up. You want to get through that as rapidly as possible. Let's not stretch it out over years and <laughs> waste all your money and experience the same lessons over and over again. We can do what I like to call quantum shift. And it's really just about <coughs> deciding to go deep. It's about just giving yourself permission <coughs> to focus on your prosperity, to focus on your well-being, to focus on how you do shit and to do it the best you can right now and to plan from the space of expansion rather than from the contracted space you're coming to me with because you've been stuck in a sort of loophole looping pattern that you can't quite seem to wrap your head around and get out of and you know that this is what you need to do to get out of it. Get your ass to my website, valtopia.com. Sign up. There's one spot left for one-to-one. -one. And um, yeah, Rayanne says, yes, full expansion, baby. I'm really looking to book you in this week. Don't wait. Don't say, no, someday I want to do that or I'm saving up my money. My clients did not have the funds when they started. In the call, on the sales call, we activated some deep, powerful vibrations of knowing within self that is what created the quantum shift. And really all we asked for in that sales call is deep self-trust and deep connection with your own sense of who you truly are and bliss and peace and abundance. And that's what we've been experiencing and we've been experiencing life and we're learning to come into more presence daily and trust that love streams through us. Today is the day right now. Right now. Do it now. Thank you, Rayanne. Yeah, it is right now. What are you waiting for? We can get started right away and the frequencies begin running immediately. And when I say the frequencies, obviously you're going to be a highly sensitive, aware person to understand what it means to receive frequencies from a cosmic healer. It, it, it's like, it's like Reiki, but much more powerful. You do feel me. You do feel me. And you learn to ground, truly ground, like to move energy in your body, to recognize your energy versus other people's energy on a level you haven't experienced before. But chances are you don't know this stuff and it doesn't take long to learn. A lot of what we learn happens in the first week or two. And, and, and by the third week, we've had some super magical ups and downs. And by the fourth week, we're coming into a place where you know how to do this stuff for yourself and you can't believe the difference in your perspective, perspective and the shifts in your beliefs and the, the, what's being mirrored back to you in your clients. And the ripple effect is the most beautiful thing because you are tapping into your gifts and fully leaning into yourself. Your clients are so inspired by your leadership that they begin to do so too and they begin to have better relationships with their family and make more money too and the blessing is simply that you gave yourself permission to breathe and ground and regenerate your cells every day and learn how to be a boss bitch shamama so if you're my next bitch, boss bitch shamama uh why shouldn't i call it anything other than that that's who i work with i work with well you don't have to be a mama but you've got that nurturing um i want to I want to heal myself and be fully myself for love and compassion, creation, prosperity, abundance, and change the way it means to be alive through just me and knowing that's, that's what it is. Get your ass in your boss bitch to mama school and apply. 
All right, let me pull this card and then um, this is for you next glow up. Woo, look at this. Desert vision quest and fire passion. So I think this message is that there's somebody who's been watching me since I was in the desert a couple of weeks ago and you've been thinking about it and we did a ceremony today to call you in to heal this idea that you are going to be punished if you ask to prosper and we are going to shift that in your glow up too because that's also your situation and guess what if it's your situation it means every single one of your clients and people in your tribe have the same thing too so any dollar you invest to shift it you're investing to shift it for your family for your past for your present for your future for everything it's it's not a trifling thing it's so rapid I can drop kick someone. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's just pull this one card. My kids are going to be like, Mommy, yay. If I get there before four, I'm, I'm golden. All right. No, I don't want to do those. Hang on. All right. There you go. There you go. There it is. Money magic. Money magic. That's what's on the table. Permission to prosper without punishment. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Own your frequency. There's nobody like you. See you next time. Go sign up on valtopia.com. What you waiting for?